Hello and welcome to the show. This is Do All of the Things. On today's episode, I'm going to see what it's like to peel the PTM 7950 off my 6950 XT because it's going back to naturally aspirated. Yeah, I'm going to be putting the air cooler back on it. Yeah, stay tuned. If you've been following the comedy, you might be aware that uh, I built myself a second gaming rig, or maybe a primary gaming rig, because I don't like sitting at my computer on my downtime. So I built, set up a gaming rig upstairs in my living room. And then I put one of my old Vega 64s in it, but it didn't work in that system. It seems to work fine on my made rig. And it's in there right now. I've been using it, but it won't work on my second system. Some freaking reason. I don't know. But because it didn't work, I went and I bought myself an Intel Arc A770. And it's actually been pretty good. Pretty surprisingly good. But I have a couple situations that I want to address. One is it's not exactly a high, high-end gaming card. It's stronger than the Vega 64, but I'm finding running games at 720p or 1080p upstairs on that monitor, I can actually use ray tracing. And it's like, oh, oh, I want a little bit more now. I want a little bit more. Sure, I'm lower resolution, but it means I can maybe crank all the eye candy now. Well, uh, the 6950 is gonna get me the little bit more. On top of that, the 6950 isn't necessarily a good editing card. It has some weaknesses in my main rig. Yeah, it does encode a little bit faster than the Vega 64, but at the same time, the general use experience isn't any better. The A770 is supposed to be a good encoding card. That's supposed to be one of the things Intel specializes in. So maybe that card will be good in my editing rig. And then this one can go up into my gaming rig. It is a gaming rig card after all. The thing is, I had to pull the water cooling out of that rig because because the case just doesn't support it real well and I don't have correct the radiators I would need to do it. So if I do water cool that, that computer, it's, it's gonna be a while. But that means any card I put in there needs to be air cooled. So I'm in a position where I'm playing musical video cards right now. I have two systems. I wanna be able to swap two different cards between depending on what I wanna do. I want a game downstairs, put in the gaming card. I want a game upstairs, Put the gaming card there. Maybe the A770 is a good editing card. I need to find that out. In order to do that, I need to put the air back on. We still have some of the original thermal goo on this thing. So depending on if all the uh, thermal pads are still intact, we should be able to do that. So the disappointing waste is when I last worked on this card, I put on some very expensive thermal ointment. That is PTM 7960 thermal pad. That's uh, not cheap to buy in quantity though, you know, for 10 bucks, you can get a piece that it will do just do one card. But then that's just the thing. It costs $10 to do one card. Imagine if you spent $10 on thermal paste and you only got one application out of it. So yeah, this thing in the big picture of things is not a cheap thermal ointment. Now, what are the chances that if I peel it off here, that thermal pad might still be intact? Unlikely, because as I understand, it starts off as a thermal pad, but once you get it hot, it turns into a thermal goo. Ugh, we're gonna have to remember what thermal pads go where, because I'm peeling this thing off right now, and hopefully it doesn't rip them all. Ugh, okay, we do got some rippage. So I do believe that these, that's original. That's the only thermal pad that I've ruined, half ruined, that goes original to this card. The rest of this, can we, oh yeah, we can carefully peel it off. The rest of this goes with the water block. So hopefully we can kind of preserve on this. This is like, it's almost off already. Getting this thermal block on and off is relatively easy. Oh, and I remember there's those little, um, those little plastic washers that I, I misplaced two of them the last time I worked on this card. I forgot they were there. And what is this moisture? Oh, I shouldn't do that. That didn't sound good. There's SMDs and this moisture. Like, I guess it's non-conductive. That's not water. This is the top of the card. Unless that's condensation? No. It feels kind of oily. Like, does some sort of oil come out of the frickin' thermal pads? I'm gonna make more of a mess. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else to this. This should pop right off now. I see no other screws. Give it a bit of a wiggle. There it goes. Oh, look at that. 
Yeah, look at that. That's what's left of the PTM 7950. It totally schmooed out the side like thermal paste. This stuff turned to thermal paste. Oh, it melted out and then it solidified again. Look at that, this is like a piece of rubber. That's interesting, bud. That's interesting. How about here? Yeah. Yeah, it's just coming off like a chunk of rubber. So that, like, on one hand, if we just stuck, like, it's not gonna compress very well, it's solid. But it's almost like if we just took this, this chunks of gunk, and we slammed it on the core, you know, maybe laid it out all nice, you know, like, like that, as an example, just, just, Kinda. And then we went and reheated this card back up, got her freaking wound up again. Well, there's a good chance that that stuff will, will soften up again and then spread out. It's just seating the card properly under these conditions is gonna be, you know, I should do an experiment. I am gonna take that chunks, I'm gonna set it aside, and then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna save it for something else, like a, like a cheap processor. I have a computer I can swap the processor out on. Yeah, something like that, and then see if it squishes down. If maybe 7950 can be reused with a little bit of creativity and, well, a non-critical application. It's sticky, like pushing it down there, stuck it back on, like that. It's almost, it's like, it's gonna stay there. Now, one question, if this will clean up like normal thermal ointment, huh, okay, yeah, alcohol will take it off. It's definitely thicker and more dense though. Like it's, it definitely does not have the typical consistency, which means it's gonna be considerably harder to clean it off of here. But at the same time, since it's not all gooed up in the freaking components, it's like taking it apart's overall a cleaner experience. It actually is, you could say it cleans up much nicer because it's so firm, it's not just schmooing everywhere. But now we have more, more chunks. Huh. You know what, this almost reminds me of Thermal Grizzly a little bit. Like my Thermal Grizzly's all dried up. So it reminds me of the dried up Thermal Grizzly that's hard to spread out. But I'm pretty sure it still works, especially if you remelt it by applying heat. So I'm guessing I'm gonna try to, you know, clean up the RAM chips and whatnot a little bit. There's like bits of thermal pad left behind there. This stuff's giving me a similar effect. It's just freaking flaking. All right, hopefully I could just kind of brush these flakes off. Okay, yeah, I feel it looks adequately clean now. So, but we gotta do prep on this thing. All right, all sorts of screws. I'm only assuming that these all have to come out. I know I can, I can vaguely recall having to split this cage. I'm wondering how, how different all these screw sizes are gonna be. Uh, these two little odd ones, they also have to come out. Pretty sure, anyway. These screws feel tight like they've never been out before. I think they're threading into plastic. I think it's just the rest of these back ones. Let's just start hamming screws out of this thing and hoping uh, we can keep track of them all. Okay, this is taking forever with manual doors. Just can't stand going slow sometimes. Oh, 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 I think that screw's a little bit longer. No, no, they're just, they're all so close. <gasps> no, one of them is shorter. Oh boy, I should have been keeping better track, buds. Hmm, we're gonna have to extrapolate from missing data, figuring out what goes where after. All right, so that's split. And look at that, we only have the one thermal pad that connects there for the back. All the rest of these, just as I left it. Isn't that nice? Oh boy, they're using like right small screws for these. So, yeah, what do we have here? There's a little bit that wants to come loose on us. I managed to keep these staying nice, eh? Except that's a little ripped up right there, that one. But it looks like all we have to do is maybe move it down a bit, and then that should do its job. And some of these pads are doubled up. It's like, what, what? They have like thin pads on top of thick pads. Like why? What's the deal with that? All right, well, I figure we need to de schmoo the old schmoo here, because that, that ain't gonna do us anything. This stuff almost feels like Thermal Grizzly too. See, that's good. I managed to maintain the integrity, the integrity of all the thermal pods. They didn't, they didn't get ruined. Okay, but uh, we need to keep this PTM 7950 ball rolling. Remind me again what size we need. 20 by 30. So it looks like we have to bust out our glass screen pro premium tempered. Premium tempered. There it is. Look at that. We're, we're, huh. We did not take much of a bite out of this thing already. We might even be able to split this down the middle and use just slightly smaller a size because it did mush out, right? It did mush out. Let's cut off a slice. If we can get it out of here. Come on. Come on. Millimeters and centimeters and it slips on this mat. It's going to be hard to keep it in a consistent position. Is this going to be a sharp enough blade, sir? It will now. Okay. Here we go. Keep her straight. 
nope, not sideways, straight, 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 straight. All right, now how wide is this piece? According to this measurement, 50 millimeters, and we need 30. Honestly, I think we're gonna be good with a 25 mil piece. So I'm pretty much just gonna cut this in half. Man, it cuts super easy. All right, get this in here. Gotta do the peel now, the peel and stick. There we go, find an edge. Find, oh, yeah, 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 all right. Oh, oh boy, it's sticky as frick. It just touched that thing and it was like, I'm out. Look at that, it's already sticking to the processor. Yeah, so see, 25 is not 100% coverage here. I would actually like to center it just a bit more. Oh no, it's not coming off now, it's stuck there. Okay, but we saw that it will smush out. So it's probably going to smush out to these areas and give us better coverage. So if you wanna skimp out, it looks like we can use just a little less. Now mind you, that depends on how much tension this system's gonna put on there. Oh, it's a KSF. Oh, look at that. This stuff is actually nice to work with. It's not hard to work with at all. Now, we have something that suggests that this is just going to drop on there, except we have to pull, uh, it looks like three screws out of this side. Did I have to take this thing more apart? I'm trying to remember, because we have electrical connections. One's going in right there. They seem to happen right on the edge. We should be able to sort those after the fact. Then we have one here. Where's this one connect? I can't see what it connects. Hello? Okay, I'm confused. This wire here, this wire right here. It looks like it should connect to something right around here. Oh, I think that daisy chains internally. Okay, I guess I did take this entire assembly apart. Okay, I might have some sorting to do then, but I feel like I am good to put this on now. Gotta line the holes up correctly. The first time, I gotta put my hat over. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I did have this apart. Look at this, this thing's moving independently. Okay, yeah, I think we have to pull this more apart. I'm remembering now. Just looks like it's maybe two or a couple more screws. Short side ones, eh? So this is where the short ones go. No, wait, this one's a longer one. Nice, what about this one? That one's short. All right, so bruh, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running out of desk space here. So I guess what we do is we first strap it down to this framework of which I'm pretty sure none of these screws go in yet. Then we're gonna grab this heat sink assembly and get that lined up. There we go, that PTM's stuck now, bud. Let's get this rear bracket eased on, minding all the SMDs in the middle. Accidentally letting this thing sideways shift could be a disaster. For some reason, we had a spring come loose. Ah, all right. That PTM's gonna be squished as frig now. I wish I hadn't have screwed up this thermal pad. That's a bit disappointing. But that's the price you pay when you screw around and get it wrong. I think you know it. It has this section here it has to bite into. Hopefully it'll squish into there. It's um currently not as narrow as it should be. I guess we could squeeze it a little bit. All right, well, let's get this back on. Oh, that must be what that thing connects to. RGB transfer. Oh, and it tucks. Uh, there's a little space for it to tuck here. Squish, squish, squish. So where's the short screws and where's the long screws go? We only have like one short screw. I guess I'll put long screws where I think it's safe to put long screws. I feel like this is only long screws and some of those shorter screws actually, well, no. Like some of these are very obviously long screw holes because you can see they have to go through this entire sandwich to get to the other side. Oh boy, this one needs a long, long screw. There are a couple that are just a little bit longer. So we got these two here that don't look like they need long screws. Otherwise all these shorts are in place. Or no, all the longs are in place. Yeah, it looks like that guy's squishing on there decent. So we had to wrap a cord into this little crevice here. And then I guess this plugs into that mystery, that mystery thing we saw. This freaking guy here. That's gonna be a bit of a, oh, actually we can get at it this way, almost. Okay, I think I got it. Now we just have to uh, finagle this assembly back into place. Feels weird, like I'm having to force it. What's going on here? It's just around this area where it has to interact with this piece. Oh, it's not lining up right. Okay, what's going on here, bud? Oh, this goes outside. I was putting it over top of that. Now it just flopped right onto place. Okay, everything makes sense now. Now I'm gonna employ what I have left of long screws and holes that look like they need long screws. All right, I think that's all the long screws. All I have left are short screws. And sure enough, these two spots here look like they use short screws. So I had them in the wrong positions before, but those were just storage positions. So no harm done. Screws here, screws here. Yeah, one up here. <gasps> Way to drop it into the thing. Oh yeah, this screwdriver I forgot is not highly magnetic. So if you have trouble, I get a strong magnet, stick it near the end of the screwdriver like that and boom, it, now it's magnetic. I got one more short screw. Oh, it goes on the end here, right here. 
Now the rest of the screws are semi-specialty. Got these three, three black ones that go up front here. And there's two tiny little silver ones that go in here. All right, now we just have to plug in the crystals here. We got these two fan and lighting lines. And bam, this card's back together now. Ready to be air cooled, ready to be popped into my system upstairs. Nice, hopefully it still works and nothing went wrong. I'm just gonna wanna store these things, but you kinda need to be able to store them in a way that you can like preserve these thermal pads. Like if I put these, oh, look at that, see, look at that. They touch if I do this, not really, almost. That's, that's quite the sandwich they built there for us. That one keeps falling off. Got some dust in here, not gonna bother with that. Sometimes I'll use a piece of cardboard like this. Look at that, that might work. Yeah, I think it will. Ugh. Now mind you, how well is it gonna stick to this and pull off that later? Sure as heck pulls off the, this part easy. Bud needs to learn to stay in place. Okay, this thing still has water in it. That's hilarious. I actually believe I'm gonna screw this back together. But not too tight. We're not trying to mash those thermal pads into the frickin' cardboard. We just want it to be one cohesive unit for storage purposes. I should be able to uh, fit it into this box now to put it away. So that said, we're done with this. Now I just move on to testing, which might very well be a separate video based on time. We'll see. You'll stay tuned to find out. So serious. Urgh.